Today is finally the day. It today is, is finally the day. February 5th. You know what that means. It's lobby day. Lobby day. <laughs> We're headed to Annapolis right now. We're going to meet up with the coalition team. That's and right, uh, MCPC rolling deep. We're about to roll deep in the hallways. You feel me? East Coast. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful sunshine, beautiful sunrise. Weather's nice. You know, it's not freezing cold outside. So today's going to be a good day. This is lobby day in Annapolis. We're all getting ready to go meet with our delegates and senators. This is what organization looks like. Are you, are you, got, you got a few minutes? Uh, well, I'm so we just got out of our first meeting with delegate Cherie Sample Hughes staff and AJ uh, Can you tell me a little bit about our interaction with the staff and how things went? Well, uh, unfortunately, the staff was, uh, you know, kind of uh, ambivalent and uh, and vague as far as our delegates' views on cannabis legalization. But I feel like we definitely presented a good case. Um, we definitely brought up some awesome points. We addressed the opioid crisis and criminal justice. And those are the two most important issues uh, plaguing Wacomico County right now. And that's who our... Um, who Sharice uh, Sample Hughes represents. So we got our voices heard, and we also had a really awesome impromptu uh, meeting with uh, Delegate Carl Anderton, who, even though he's a Republican, I think he's gonna be on board with legalization and, and support the, the bill. So hopefully we'll get some, some support here in Maryland. Thank you, AJ. So next on our list, even though we do not have scheduled meetings, it's always you know worthwhile to just drop in and say hello. We're going to stop by Addie Eckert's office, who is the senator. Also, Charles Otto, who is the delegate of District 38. And uh, we're going to drop off some information for them so they can uh, read up on it and hopefully, you know, gain a new perspective on marijuana legalization. three times in Texas for possession so it's, it's right like why did I why is it that I left Texas got to Colorado in the safe haven and then left again why would I leave again because there's more important things than just me being in the safe haven and, and that's and that's what I realized is that if, if I could provide people with the education that has been you know um, bestowed on Colorado because of Amendment 64 we have this awesome program this awesome system that every state can benefit from I just need to get out there and tell people about it and if that's all I got to do is get out here and talk to people and tell them that you can buy an ounce for 65 bucks and you can go drive home and the cops ain't going to care, why is it not that everywhere, why is it not like that in every single 51 jurisdictions of the United States? I don't buy it. Oh, Yeah, just for advertisers. <laughs> So today we we had a successful lobby day. We were able to meet with a number of our delegates and senators and voice our opinion on the cannabis legislation that will go through the Maryland House. The important thing that we were able to accomplish today is to explain to our senators and delegates that we really want home grow. We want more provisions for um, cultivation. We really want to stop arresting people as soon as possible. And we're going to get this tax revenue enacted. We're going to have provisions so that not only the state gets taxes, but also the county gets this tax revenue. And we can use that tax revenue to benefit the homeless veterans, to benefit the schools, and, and maybe even create this universal pre-K program Ben Jealous was talking about. So many things that got enacted and really 
the, the legislatures that the legislators and delegates that didn't have a position on cannabis before we get, are going to get them to voice their opinion and be more vocal and tell us why they don't want it or why they want it and that's what we got, got accomplished today so thank you guys for checking out lobby day what we are doing right now is doing a quick recap very of, quick recap very quick recap of maryland's 2019 cannabis legalization lobby day so um we've been here since very early this morning um and we hosted uh citizens from all over the state of maryland today um and we walked throughout the halls of the maryland house of delegates and the maryland senate, senate. and uh, we covered most of the um, offices today of course we didn't meet with every, every elected single, uh, representative yes. sometimes it's just their staff but the goal today was to advocate for uh, changing marijuana laws within the state of maryland to legalize it to end prohibition stop arresting people to provide uh, um, market access okay we want our legislators to uh, end the practice of um, preventing people from engaging what is otherwise a legal business activity. So we want market access. Uh, we want the right of individuals to um, cultivate for personal use at home because in a, in a condition where this is not an illegal activity anymore, um, it stands to follow that uh, we should be able to engage in lawful activities within the privacy of our own homes. Um, and so uh, home cultivation uh, protections. And then um, thirdly, uh, a, a suite of restorative policies and equity policies. And what that means is, is that we need to recognize that um, marijuana and uh, drug policy prohibition in general has really been disproportionately um, um, allocated within the society. And we have a, a opportunity um, as we shift to a legal, uh, uh, a legal marijuana, uh, legal cannabis um, program for Maryland, we have an opportunity to redress some of those harms. Um, and so that's what we've been here. I think it was very successful. We went into today with, I think, very modest goals, which was to, um, we didn't expect legislation to pass. We went in with a, with a pretty practical acknowledgement that it wasn't likely that we would get a specific legislative result but our goal was to communicate a message uh, and to be visible to engage with the offices of our of our elected representatives and let them know that the overwhelming um, bipartisan we say nonpartisan support across the political and socioeconomic spectrum across the state of Maryland is, is ready to uh, stop um, arresting people and we're going to move to a system of rational regulation and everybody knows it so we're expecting action and those policies we enumerated uh, are the ones that we expect to be in legislation that passes at a general assembly we had a really successful day um, we had um, over 85 pre-registrants of course not everybody was able to show up but thanks for everyone who did come and yes. don't forget you can always call or email your senators and delegates and representatives at your convenience. That's right. <laughs> so we have Chris, AJ from uh, Maryland Marijuana Justice, Jeff, uh, myself, Luke from uh, Maryland Normal, and a whole bunch of people from across the state of Maryland that came today. We had a successful day. Yeah. Yes. They heard us. Yes, That's they heard us. And, and they were, had questions. They were curious. That's right. You know, the most important thing I feel like we got out of today is the feedback from the General Assembly because there were a lot of um, delegates and senators that you know maybe didn't have a position or stance before but now they're aware that their constituents have a position and a stance and they can use that um, those values to be to enact legislation and to, and to use that to cast their vote more accordingly to what to reflect their constituents. Yeah, that's right. That's the most important thing I feel like we got out of today. All right. And the future looks bright, you know, but we have to be patient. But, uh, you know, the, the fight's not over. We have to continue to move the, the cause along, and we're going to need everybody's support for that. Yeah, so that's right. Please, please, uh, you know, continue helping us help you. Awesome. All right. Free the weed. Free, Free the weed. Free the weed. <laughs>